and regulators concede in many cases they may be powerless to help. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley has our story. No one likes breaking down and needing help. It can leave you feeling vulnerable and unsafe. But we found for some that is just the start of an experience that leaves them on the hook for far more than they expected. I would say you're going a little too fast. I know that turn really threw me off there. Ellie Frovish's problems started in a ditch. Do you have a tow coming? Yeah. Cold and concerned, this 20-year-old college student relied on a quick internet search to find a local towing company. Yeah, because they may not be coming from Morris, and it could be a while. And it said on the Google that it was out of Morris. That was only the start of Ellie's tow trouble. First, the car wasn't where she was told it would be for pickup. Then, the next day, she got the bill. And they're like, the total is going to be 4340 And I go... $43.40? That's not too bad. And he was like, no, 4340 And I go, I'm going to have to call my dad. I'll be back. I said, that's insane. That can't be right. I'll call them. The actual invoice came to just under $4,000 and included a $1,800 surcharge based on recovery elements. The invoice described water that was drownable depth. But take a close look. She's coming out. The ditch was probably like this deep, but the water in the ditch was about this deep. So like two inches, maybe. Ellie's dad, an attorney, called the tow company to dispute the big bill, which was almost equivalent She's to the value of the 11-year-old car. Hold it. He, uh, he told me basically in, in no uncertain terms, uh, this is going to go one of two ways. Either you pay for this tow or we're going to keep your car in storage and rack up more fees until we own your car. If this was one person's bad experience, it probably wouldn't make the news. But the reality is there have been a cornucopia of complaints against this company, which operates lots in several communities, including here in Batavia. Local police say their officers have been called 125 times in the last 14 months due to disputes with customers, far more than any other local tow firm. WGN Investigates reviewed dozens of reports filed with the Illinois Commerce Commission, State Attorney General, and local police about priority record service. Most feature similar claims about estimates that weren't provided, overcharging, and demands for cash payment. One police officer who responded wrote in his report, the Batavia Police Department is familiar with priority records, unscrupulous business habits. It was ready to even take us to to go get the truck. But Kamai Dennis's claims about priority record are the most egregious we encountered. My fear was like they took the money and they took the truck. I will never get the truck anymore. Yes. He's a commercial hauler whose Ford pickup truck jackknifed on I-55 near Pontiac. He said state troopers recommended priority records for the tow. After a night in the hospital, Dennis said he suffered shock of a different kind when he talked to the tow company about retrieving his truck. Then he said, bring the 23,000 cash, go to your bank, get the 23,000 cash, and then I will tell you where to bring the money. While Kamai Dennis disputed the bill, his truck sat in Priority Records' yard, essentially held hostage, and the bill soared. Not right at all. Dennis's insurance company eventually got involved, and a month later, with added daily storage fees, the bill rose to $39,000. The insurance company just wrote a check for $39,000 to get the truck back, which they got yesterday. And now they're not turning the truck over to us. Morris police were called when Dennis wanted to bring friends from church to pick up the truck. We only would like to take the owner to his vehicle. I don't trust you. I'm coming with so if I choose to come. Turns out one of the responding officers was aware of Ellie Frobish's tow from the ditch a week earlier. Because it was 10 feet from the freaking parking lot. He hooked on the front of it, drug it to the front, ripped the whole passenger side up through the trees and everything else. Brett said that they were talking about it at Grand Jury. They charged Frobish $4,000. <laughs> Four grand. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. As all of these drivers learn the hard way, the towing industry is relatively unregulated. When it comes to pricing, some compare it to the Wild West. 
federal law has absolutely preempted some of our ability to regulate a little more aggressively. The Illinois Commerce Commission issues licenses and has the power to fine, but not control pricing. The ICC has received 20 complaints about Priority Wrecker and its affiliated companies since January of last year. Most accuse the company of quoting one price, but then demanding another, and demanding it be paid in cash or through a cash app. The ICC has fined the firm a total of $2,900 dollars since 2021, usually for not providing a written estimate before the tow occurs. You do have some towing companies that are not issuing those forms. Obviously, we know that all consumers and drivers don't know that they should be asking for them. And so, yes, if they are not issuing those um, pre-disclosures, we do cite them. They are getting tickets and fines. But it's a $100 citation that oftentimes is chump change compared to the overcharging that's going on. It is an ongoing process to get those fines increased, but we are actively working um, to explore those options. We provided Priority Records owner Johnny May with the cases we were investigating, and he agreed to an on-camera interview, then bolted when we arrived. Johnny told me he was going to talk to me. Why yeah, doesn't he, he want to talk to he me? He called me and he said, I'd just rather you handle everything. Meet Zachary Wilson, attorney at law. We told him about Ellie Frobish's $4,000 tow from those allegedly drownable floodwaters. It's about two inches of water. If you're laying down, it's drownable. <laughs> you're laying face down, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the particulars of this incident. We also wanted his take on Kamite Dennis's $39,000 bill. Um, sounds like a lot. <laughs> and attorney Wilson should know. Because before he was an attorney representing tow companies, he spent 21 years at the Illinois Commerce Commission, retiring as chief of police. Attorney Wilson argues when he was with the ICC, they had the power to order refunds and fine tow companies for overcharging. Not anymore. Johnny would if he had the specifics of each case, which the ICC could provide us. I provided them to oh, you. Well, like I said, I haven't seen anything. So uh, if you want to provide me everything, I'll take a look at all of them, right? And I'll yeah. try and talk to Johnny and say, here, you, you messed up on this one. You didn't mess up, just like I used to do with the ICC. Yeah. And we get a deal and, you know, the customer's happy or is not happy. Yeah. You, got, you got a whole boatload of customers who are very happy with Johnny. My friends and I were like, you just got like, pretty girl scammed. I want them to to be accountable for the the wrong they're doing to people. That's, that's a mess. Yeah. After we began investigating Priority Wrecker and brought our findings to the Illinois Commerce Commission, the agency took action. It suspended the company's safety relocator license for not paying that $2,900 in fines we mentioned. But within a day or two, the company paid the fines and their license was restored. Its trucks continue to tow. The company's lawyer told me if people don't like what they're charged, they can file a lawsuit. The bottom line, it's up to you to do your due diligence, check with your insurance company, and get a written quote before allowing your vehicle to be towed. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigate.